Shalom, Brakthi Hawa, Brakthi Hawa Shai, Brakthi Hawa, Brakthi Hawa Shai, Brakthi Hawa, Bahashim, Yahwa Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the Apostle Elders of the Great Millstone, rule well. Taught me this truth and honors to you, brothers. Okay, you few sisters out there, man, uh, to you I say Shalom. Okay, hey, man, and this, this place is done. This place is toast. Okay, this place is absolutely through. It says, so just how concerned should we be about America's $28 trillion debt? All right, and the hopeful election be concerned. You should you should be happy, man. This this the sign of this place going down. Okay, it says uh, America has a problem with well, almost twenty eight trillion problems. <laughs> All right, and it reads, <laughs> yeah, man, Satan been messing with this, man. It cut off earlier. But anyways, let's see if we can, let's see if we can get it popping again. It says if you were to stack. $100 bills on top of each other, $1 million would be around the three feet mark, about the height of a chair or a toddler. And if you keep stacking the $100 bills, eventually past the peak of the world's tallest building, going a little over half a mile into the air, this would be $1 billion. But we're going for a trillion. This would have you stacking $100 bills into the stratosphere and past the International Space Station. You would have to stack these bills 631 miles above Earth's crust. That would equal $1 trillion. So that's just one. 631 miles in the air. That's just $1 trillion of $100 bills. Okay. Now imagine 28 stacks of 631 mile high $100 bills, man. So look look at this. Okay. You got three feet. That's the height of a chair. That's $1 million. All right. Then you got one billion stacked in, in the hundreds. Uh, you know, okay, that's high. Now look, look right there. The International Space Station is 248 miles up up in the sky, man. All right, and that's passing that. Look at that, man. This place is this place is toast. All right. It says um, now that we have an understanding of this colossal debt, you may be asking yourself, how worried should I be about it? Hey, man, we should hopefully elect. We not worried about shit. We not worried about shit. We we want we want this to continue to happen. All right. It says the national debt, Bolin says, is a serious problem uh, that the CV has only inflamed due to the trillions of dollars the country has spent in relief packages. This, on top of the mounting expense of social security benefits, which is only expected to increase the debt over time, has led America. Bolin says on a trajectory that many economists consider unsustainable. All right, so like uh, the elder you call I not uh, out of Sacramento says uh, this place is in a precipitous decline. All right, but when it comes to the question of who holds America's debt, most people think the answer is China. Well, this is technically true. China only holds a small percentage of it, just a little over one trillion dollars. I'll put this right here. It says, you may be surprised to learn that there are many foreign holders of U.S. public debt, including Japan, who holds the most, $1.26 trillion, and the United Kingdom, Ireland, and even Switzerland. Altogether, these countries have taken on about $7 trillion of America's debt, or almost 25%. So now you may be wondering who holds the rest. In a nutshell, the answer is us. So yeah, the the, the bill, you uh, you Babylonians, you footing the bill, man. All right. So there's a big part of our debt that most people don't know about is what we call intragovernmental debt, where the Social Security Trust Fund brings in more money than they spend, and so they actually loan money to the General Fund of the United States Treasury, which these are the people who make the money. So they slipping the money into their own hand, man. OK, they're taking it from your back pocket and they putting it uh, uh, in, in their front pocket. They taking it from <laughs> they taking it from their left pocket. They putting it in their right pocket. man. It says so. It, uh, so it's actually us borrowing money out of another federal agency's budget. That's about six trillion in debt that we just owe to other federal agencies within our government. According to the balance, the public holds over 21 trillion of the national debt. So so. Hey man, these elite, they trying to foot you with the bill. And guess what? Guess what? If it's up to them, 
you're going to pay it. Which, hey, man, our, our Lord is coming back. Hey, if you, if you brothers out there, man, who got, you may have a, a bunch of bills, a bunch of debt, you know, of course, you know, sustain yourself. But don't be worried about trying to get your, you know, get your fucking credit score right. You know what I mean? It's not necessary right now. Nor was it ever before, but especially not now, man. We in the time of we in the time of the hastening of the coming of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, it says the public holds over twenty one trillion of the national debt, with the Federal Reserve and the U.S. government holding around ten point sixteen trillion, and mutual funds holding around two point five trillion. So they're saying it's your fault. Your your ass is in slavery financially, you know. In all aspects, mentally, spiritually, physically, yet you the one fit the foot in a twenty-one trillion dollar uh, bill, man. All right, <laughs> and see, E, that, that's E's favorite thing to do. You know, do things on your dime. <laughs> it says the rest of the debt is taken up by state and local governments, private pension funds, insurance companies, and banks, which they're all uh, in league with each other. Okay, it says, and as previously mentioned, the coronavirus has infected the debt. And caused it to swell with a 1.9 trillion dollar uh, COVID bill moving to the Senate. Where does this money come from? It's actually borrowed. The United States government borrows money by selling what we call treasury bonds or treasury bills to private investors or to foreign governments or to banks or to state pension plans, which all which all of those are owned by you damn devils. Okay, all those companies, all everything. Okay, it says. Whoever is willing to buy it, these devils, they sell these, uh, essentially their IOUs. These IOUs are then used to raise money to pay for things to provide to Americans, such as the Crown Royal Relief Package. Although America has not yet faced an, exis uh, an existential crisis because of this debt, which we're in that, we're in a damn uh, existential crisis, okay? So as Bolin says that there have been repercussions one being that almost 10% of the federal budget every year immediately vanishes in order to pay interest on our debt. Another is because the government is borrowing so much money, this then leaves less money to be borrowed by private investors. An effect referred to as crowding out. All right, let me go over that again. It says another is because the government is borrowing so much money this then leaves less money to be borrowed by private investors, an effect referred to as crowding out. Basically, when the U.S. government or any government is borrowing money out of savers' hands, that leaves less uh, less money uh, for private individuals to borrow and invest. He explains that can harm long-term economic growth, which is the which is the goal. Okay. Uh, it's not very visible, but it can be something that makes our economy grow slower over a long period of time. All right. As for when or even if America could ever be faced with the big one, a cataclysmic financial event that would leave the country reeling, Bolin says the answer to that is somewhat complex. Yeah, <laughs> it ain't complex. That shit gonna happen, man. All right, right now, says Bolin, savers worldwide believe the U.S. government to be a safe place to lend their money. The government also borrows cheaply, and the interest rates are low. However, this could change if one day savers started to become less confident and more wary of loaning their money to us. This would then cause the government to have to pay more in interest to be able to borrow money, which would only increase our national debt, which that's the point that we're at. Okay, it says at that point, people start losing confidence and increasingly lose confidence. That's what people call a debt spiral, where your debt just spirals out of control. And we don't know if and when that would happen. We know, we know if it's going to happen now. And we know when it's going to happen now. You living in it. That's why they have this whole uh, Crown Royal uh, predicament going on, man. This is covering up a lot of stuff. Okay, it says that's a possibility. But that's really something that's hard to predict, which it's not, man. The hopeful elect starting off with our apostle elders, okay, of Great Millstone. They, they have predicted that. They predicted a spiraling, uh, a spiraling out. A bottoming out of this economy, man. Okay, and this, this, and it, it, and you know, although the people here spend and spend and spend, this is all uh, courtesy of the so-called white man. All right. <clears throat> so uh, the point is that uh, 
verse 3, but I'm going to start from the top. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, and verse 1. Remember now thy uh, you. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh. So yeah, man, you, if you have an understanding of this word in your youth, man, you need to come to your creator. Okay? Come to your creator while you're young. Okay? While the evil days come not. Yeah, so don't come to the Lord when all hell breaks loose. Okay? It says, Nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Uh, so again, yeah, while things are good, things are great, you you want to invest your time and effort, okay, into serving Yahweh by Hashem Shai. Because pe people continue to say that, man. What, what's the point? You know? Oh, man, you know, the, 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 Lord, the Lord don't want you reading from no Bible. The Lord don't want you standing on no street corner. You know? Bunch of fucking demons, all right? It says, verse 2, while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain, man. So the clouds are going to be returning. That's them chariots. Okay. It says, In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, these elite, so-called elite, and the strong men shall bow themselves. All right, which goes into the uh, the military and these different high-ranking uh, members of the military industrial complex. Right. It says, And the grinders cease because they are few. So we at the point where this, you know, uh, grinding, okay, that goes into processing, okay, that goes into uh, the logistics, that goes into everything that makes this place uh, run, okay, and like uh, the elder apostle Gabar always goes into, you know, that's why uh, they have the name Great Millstone, like Millstone grinds, okay, so the, so the Lord causes us to grind, man. As this place slows down, okay, we're speeding up through the spirit. All right, it says, um, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. Yes, you looking at the estate of this place, and it has made your, your countenance sad. Uh, okay, which good, good, for, good for you devils, and good for you other nations and two thirds of our own people. You looking out of those windows, man, and you, you, <laughs> you, you, your eyes are darkened. You know, the eyes are the windows to the soul. That's what they say, man. So your, your windows are darkened. You have you have nothing, man. And good, you wanted to invest invest in this damn place. And you want to start this big business. You wanted to become a rapper. You want to do all this other shit. And now look, okay? And even with these things happening, you, still, you got niggas out here still wanting to be rappers, man. And you hear what you got to do in order to be a big time rapper. Yet that's what you want to do. It, you, you know, you want to flash you, uh, useless money. <laughs> this money is out of here, man. Verse 4. Uh, and, you know, this is just the spirit. But, you know, when you uh, think about uh, the Germans and their money, at one point, uh, there's videos and pictures of, um, you know, a child using the money as, as building blocks. The money was worthless. It was worth less than a penny. A hundred dollars was worth less than a penny. Okay. It was worth less than, I mean, than a, than a scoop of dirt. Even a scoop of dirt, you know, you're gonna get a little money for. But they had, no, they had no, they had no value to the money. That's how the American dollar is gonna be. It says, and the doors shall be shut in the streets, which that's what we dealing with now. Shit, everything closed down. Okay, it says when the sound of the grinding is low, so we we are at the last. Uh, like when you cut a, a head off of a snake, you know, at first it's it's wiggling around, you know, blood spurting all over the place. But then after about 30 seconds, you see it kind of curl up, you know, and it might it might kind of move around for a second. It'll scare you. But after those couple of death throws, it's done. All right. That's the time to win. We're in those cup. We're in them few twitches. All right, America is basically that snake that's had its head cut off, and it's in that last final phase of twitching. Okay, it says, And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird. Woo! And all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Yeah, so all the daughters of music are brought low. Which, you know, go, you know it goes into Jake. It goes into uh, you damn devils. It goes into the elite. Okay. Everybody that isn't in, in league with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man, which only the one thirds of the 144,000 are in league with the Heavenly Father through His Son. 
Okay, that's why everybody else is getting brought down. Brought down low. Okay, it says verse 5. Also, when they shall be afraid of that which is high, and fear shall be in the way, and the almond tree shall flourish, and the grasshopper shall be a burden, and desire shall fail. Yes, you, there's nothing here for you. Hoop dreams. Different aspirations. Oh, I wanna, I wanna be the next Elon. I wanna, I wanna be, I, you know what I mean. I wanna be the next Adrian Peterson. All that is out of here. Okay, it says because man goeth to his long home, and the mourners go about the streets. Woo! So not only does that go into these people. Oh, where, where's my food? Where's my assistance? Where, you know, we need some, we need some intervention. We need help. That also goes into us. Okay. The men that y'all about Shemal shot mourners going about the streets. We 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 are on the street corners mourning. Look at this fucking place. All right. All right. We're trying to go. We're trying to go home. Okay. And home home is gonna come to us. <laughs> home is going to come to us, man. How about Shemal Shai is going to have the kingdom of heaven come down here upon the earth, man. That's beautiful. It says, or ever the silver cord be loosed, or the golden bowl be broken, or the picture be broken at the fountain, or the wheel broken at the cistern. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto Yahweh who gave it. So yeah, man, we're about to be in that time. You know, let's go. You damn devils, you taking too long, man. We tired of living in this society amongst you fucking people. All right? You disgusting fucking people. Verse 8. Vanity of vanity, saith the preacher, all is vanity. And moreover, because the preacher was wise, he still taught the people knowledge. Uh, yea, he gave good heed and sought out and set in order many proverbs. So starting off with our apostle elders, man, they, they are wise and they still teach. OK, and they give good heed. They tell us constantly, OK, listen up. All right, pay attention to prophecy. Don't just don't just listen to us. Go into the prophecies. Go into the go into the news. Go into go into all the information. Come up with your own conclusion. All right, stick to the doctrine, but come up with your own conclusion. You will come to the realization that we are at the end of this damn thing. Okay, it says and set in order many proverbs. So that's why it says precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. Okay, these these proverbs are to be set in order, man. Our prophecy is set in order. Uh, verse 10, it says, The preacher sought to find out acceptable words, and that which was written was upright, even words of truth. So this all, everything that you read about in the Bible is true. There's not one thing that's false in there. So you niggas talking about, oh, this is a white man's book. Everything in there is, is fables. Your, your life is a fucking fable. Look at you. Walking around with a mask on. You know what I mean? Everything it's a fable. The money you got, it's a it's a it's, it's it's a figment of your imagination. You know? This what this money has no value to it. Okay, it says the words of the wise are as golds, and as nails fastened by the masters of assemblies, which are given from one shepherd. And who's that shepherd? Ha Adawanawa Yahawashai Hamashiach. Okay, our Lord. Okay, our Lord. He is salvation. He is the deliverer, okay? He is the anointed deliverer. He is the anointed savior, all right? He, he, is, he is the one that was sent to get us the fuck up out of this condition, man. And he came 2,000 plus years ago and taught, okay? And taught great men. And those, those men are here back on the earth today, man. And we truly do believe that. It says, uh, we don't know, we don't know who each man is, but we know that these men are back. Okay, it says, and further by these, my son, be admonished of making many books. There is no end and much study is a weariness of the flesh. Yeah. So, you know, it's good to go into certain books uh, for, um, you know, j just as a, as a reference. But, you know, don't, you know, don't go. You got a big old stack of books, you know, and our apostle elders, man, they did all the heavy lifting when it came to going to the libraries. Going to the different university uh, uh, libraries, going and going online, searching through all these different things. You know, it's not necessary for us to go over stack over stack. Now, there are certain books that you you know you can go through, um, and things like that. But the most important book is the Bible. Okay, it says verse thirteen, 
Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Salakia, fear Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. All right, for Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So this word is basically like a secret. This word is something. It's, this is the most known, unknown thing on the planet. The name, the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, the, the spirit. And it comes with the spirit of prophecy and the proper breaking down of this book. Okay, the gospel, the good news. All right. It says with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. All right. The Lord, the Lord is, is, is bringing every work into judgment. So we just pray, man, that we get judged on, on the right side, man. We've, you know, a lot of brothers, man, you know, sometimes you think about the things you've done in this life, man, and you feel horrible, you know. That's part of the fight, you know, that's fighting the flesh, man. You know, sometimes you get a reminiscent spirit on you. You remember how things used to be uh, when you were younger, you know, when you were a kid, when you were a teenager, you know, young adult, certain things like that. And uh, you think, you know, you think about how far we've come, man. And it bothers you sometimes, you know, to know that, hey, man, you know, that was all judgment. You know, we just pray not to get judged in these times, man. You know, we don't want to be we don't want to be judged and be on the, the outside looking in. We want to be on the inside looking out. We want to be in those chariots, brothers. We want to be in those chariots, man. That's something that we de we desire very much so to be in those chariots. You know. So uh, I went I went through um all the points that I needed to uh, go through. Man, this place is done. This place is done. You know, invest in your how about shimmy how shine, man. Now, you know, certain brothers got, you know, different stocks or, you know, you might have a little cryptocurrency account or something, something like that. But that's not what you're focusing all your time on. You're focusing your time on the prophecies. You're focusing your time on following the, the law, sections and commandments, going over the high holy days, man. You know, going over the Sabbath, which is according to the new moon, you know, on that on that uh, sixth day going into the seventh day, you know, and getting, get, you know, Brothers, you know, you can get your uh, your moon app. I got a moon app to show me when the new moon is. You know, I count the days afterwards, you know, and, and, and look at it. You know, and just follow it to the best of your ability. It's some, certain times, man, you're going to mess up. You're going to feel bad about it, man. You're going to feel bad about it. You know, you may you may be on uh, a fast. You're trying to do a fast. You, know, you, you break the fast. You don't even really eat nothing like that. You might, you know, just have half a granola bar, you know break the fast now you're like damn you know gotta start over start over the next day man you know just get right get right through the spirit man okay and the lord is the lord is gonna recognize that because we you know as as brothers when we make mistakes you that's why you have elders to constantly build you up and to edify man but to take heed to these words is something that how about shimmy is gonna put the spirit on you uh to do man so take heed to this. Take heed to the uh, economy collapsing. Take heed to the people, th their lives collapsing. You know, take heed to, to take heed to this reality just crumbling down for these people. And our our reality is being uh, uh, constructed, not here, but okay. Uh, 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 hey man, even in the, even in the land of Israel, you can see the people freaking the fuck out. They're they're out of here, man. They're out of here, and when our Lord returns, man, He's gonna, He's gonna bring, He's gonna bring heaven with it, with Him, man. Okay, and we're gonna, we're gonna dwell in a world ran by righteousness, ran by the Spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. And that's what we want. We want that more than anything. We want to see our apostle elders on a throne, man. We want to see, we want to see that. We want to see them on a the throne. We want to see our elders on the throne, man. We want to see our brothers on the throne. Okay. We want to see all the all the great men from beforehand that that taught us this truth, you know, thousands of years ago, you know, and and all the time in between. We want to we want to see them, uh, you know, rule, man, the governing but the governing body of heaven, man. We want to see the elect uh, be constructed. We want to see, we want uh, to see the elect get revealed, because right now we're just the hopeful elect, you know. But we 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 pray that we are of that number, man. You know, we just have to keep working towards being of that number. Certain, you know, you might have a certain 
goal you're trying to reach, you don't reach it. Reevaluate. Get yourself together, you know. That's what it's all about. Jake, Jake, Jake just got to get himself together. Okay? And just stay together. You know, and hey, man, the, 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 the brothers, that's all you got. You don't have family, you know. I say that a lot now in my head, man, all the time. You know, I have relatives. I have people that are related to me. You might have a brother, mother, father, cousin, uncle, nephew, niece, you know, whatever. Those are just relatives, man. Your real family is the men of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak, Badash, man. Okay, the, the one-thirds, the 144,000, man. All right, Salaki, I'm going to say the 144,000, then the one-thirds. You know, forgive me, forgive me. You know, but that, man, that, that's, that's your real family, man. Especially, especially the elders and the brothers. The people who taught us this truth and have continued to teach us this truth day in and day out, man. You know, they they striking down pages. You know, the spirit will lead you to the spirit will lead you to another page, man. You go you go to an elder's page, brother's page, it'll pop up. You know, uh the elder uh elder apostle um Gabar, his page, uh daily edification, daily exaltation. He got two strikes, so that's down right now. So you know, uh they got uh, another page, GMS uh thirty fourth and Broadway, I believe. Or something of that effect, you know, he was posting off of there. So, you know, or, or another another brother may give him the, the login to theirs. He'll start uploading from there. Whatever it takes to get this word out, man. That's, you know, that's what's going to happen. And that's what they've taught us to do. To push this word no matter what. All the way up until the end. We we can't stop pushing this word to we're in that chariot. So, all right. Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yahweh Shai. Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yahweh Shai. Barak the Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Ha Rakaha Kodash. Okay. Double honors to the apostle elders of the great millstone who rule well, teach well, and taught me this truth. And honors to you, brothers, who are bringing out this word in sincerity and in faith, man. This is your brother, Sham. And may the Lord continue to just to just work with us, you know, or, or to work with me as I perceive he is. You know, I pray that he is. I pray in the name of Yahweh Shim Shai that he works with me. And to you brothers, man, you brothers going through hardships, you brothers, you know, going through different things. Just realize that this is what the men were going through back then, man. You know, you can't, you're not even, you're not even comfortable, you know, in your own home. You're not comfortable with, you know, being around certain family members. You're not comfortable around your woman. You're not comfortable around your children. You're not comfortable at work, you know. The only comfort that we have is bringing out these words and, 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 and following our Lord, man. We will follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth, man. Shalom.